reaction time welcome you hold a ruler vertically without touching between the index finger between the index finger and the thumb of your friend at the zero mark you then let go of your ruler without letting him know your friend catches the falling ruler after it falls through a vertical distance d calculate the reaction time for the following d's so if your friend catches the ruler after it falls through a distance of d meters and if d is equal to 5 what is the reaction time if d is equal to 10 what is the reaction time if d is equal to 20 what is the reaction time if d is equal to 40 what is the reaction time Vertical displacement is equal to v zero t plus one half a t squared. So you have delta y is equal to v zero t plus one half a t squared. Initial velocity at the start is equal to zero, so we can get rid of the first v zero t. So we get delta y is equal to one half a t squared. We get delta y is equal to one half a t squared. And if you just work with magnitudes, you get delta y is equal to d is equal to one half a t squared. T, the reaction time in seconds is equal to square root of 2 d over a. Square root of 2 d over a. So we are given 5 centimeters, which is 0.05. So number one, 5 centimeters. Number two, we have 10 centimeters. And what is 10 centimeters equal to? 0.10 meters. T is 20 centimeters, and that is 0.20 meters. And question number four is forty centimeters, and that is zero point four zero meters. Question number one, d is equal to five. So substitute zero point zero five as d. Substitute the magnitude of the acceleration due to gravity, nine point eight, and we get point one zero. When we substitute ten centimeters, which is point one zero meters, we get point one four three seconds as your reaction time. When you substitute 20 centimeters, which is 0.20 meters, we get 0.202 seconds as your reaction time. When you substitute 40 centimeters, which is equal to 0.4 meters for d, we get 0.286 seconds as your reaction time. And this is George Matthews signing off. Good luck. Delta y is equal to v zero y t plus one half. Acceleration along the vertical times t squared. What is delta y? Delta y is the change in the vertical position, and delta y is y final minus y initial. Delta y is equal to y final minus y initial. And what is initial velocity at the start? Initial velocity, initial vertical velocity at the start, it is zero. And what is the acceleration along the vertical? It is negative 9.8, provided you define positive x that way and positive y as vertically up. So if you do that, you get delta y is equal to one half negative 9.8 t squared. If you take the magnitudes and consider the change in the vertical position. As d, then we say d is equal to one half nine point eight t squared. Multiply both sides by two, so you get two d equals nine point eight t squared. Divide both sides by. Divide both sides by nine point eight, so you get two. You get two d divided by nine point eight. And that is equal to t squared, or t is equal to square root of 2d over 9.8.